tip your mic up a little bit. Yep. There you go. Thank yep. you. Here. Go like this. Just so, like, they camera will wind up. Like back up Dire Straits, 93.3 KZOZ, everything <laughs> that rocks. Good morning, it's Jeff and Jeremy. Online, of course, KZOZ.com. 10 after 9 o'clock, right, we need to load up the phones, uh, give you a shot to win some tickets. You go to Comedy Night tomorrow night at the ranch in San Miguel, plus everybody today is taking home a DVD. That's Steve Austin's Damage. You don't probably recognize it in the movie theaters because uh, Stone Cold went straight to DVD with this one. He wanted you to have it in your home as soon as possible. So. Uh, everybody picking up a copy of Steve Austin's Damage. And uh, the winner in the Tuesday morning taste off will be winning tickets to Comedy Night up at the ranch. And I'll tell you where this one came from, okay? This Tuesday morning taste off came from a battle that my fiance and I had the other day. All right. I bought like 24 pack of Pop Weaver popcorn. Pop Weaver? Pop Weaver. Where do you get Pop Weaver? Walmart. At? Buy you Walmart. bought Walmart popcorn? I bought Walmart popcorn. And I said to her, I said, there's no difference between... She goes, why do you get that? Why did you get real popcorn like Orville Red and Bob? I because agree with her. That's white trash. You've got white <laughs> trash. you got white trash popcorn. you got white trash popcorn. I'm not going to eat white trash popcorn. I said, there's no way you could tell a difference between Pop Weaver and Orville Red and Bob. <laughs> See, I disagree. I, well, I don't know about those two, but I mean, I know there's certain popcorns that I like. I like the Pop Secret. And I think the Pop Secret makes the best microwave popcorn there is. Or what Bart would be my second choice. I've never had the Pop Weaver, so this will be new as far as that goes. So what you need to do to call to win comedy night tickets at the ranch, 543-3693, and then you just have to pick a popcorn. Yeah. Pick, pick a pep. You want to win tickets to go to comedy night, just give us a call now. And we also got the DVD that everybody's going to win. 543-3693, 543-3693. Let's meet our panel this morning. Uh, back by popular demand. Good morning. <laughs> Good to see you. Do I get a free copy of Damage for tasting as popcorn? Yes, you, we, we, we have a free copy of Sweet. Stone Cold Steve Austin's yes. Damage as well. Now, <laughs> I heard that you don't particularly like popcorn. That's why no. we decided to have you on the panel this morning. What? You, you will tell us which one tastes better. Sure, I'll go for, for it. For lack of a better term, because you don't like popcorn. I am not a fan of popcorn okay, at all. Good, good. How do you not like popcorn? I don't know. The only popcorn not that I like is caramel corn. I don't know what it does, what it changes. She's everything. communist, like that's why. <laughs> All right, uh, coming up next, uh, he works over on the sales side of the building. Sometimes considered the enemy, sometimes considered a friend. It depends on how many gigs he gets us. <laughs> I come from Mark production. Is here. Okay, I come from production. You come you from production? Forget. I forget what? You forget. I forget what? You break my heart. <laughs> what am I forgetting? <laughs> is anybody else confused? You never know what you're going to get when you grab a sales guy and put him on yeah, the air. Right? Yeah, that's very true. Mark, thanks for being here. Mark also hosts a very popular Surf Talk Radio show on our sister station, 104.5 on Sunday, Sunday mornings, that's right. Yeah. You're getting me lessons around the office. How yeah, that's right, that's right. How, how I was stand up on, you, a, on, a, on a surfboard. Um, what do you like? What do you like in popcorn? Which one do you think will do well? Or no, the we'll popcorn do? that doesn't break my teeth. So, uh, <laughs> <laughs> no, I actually like the uh, What's wrong with your stuff? teeth? The, the unsalted you've stuff? Never, you've We're never going movie butter. you like, totally unpop popcorn and just ground down the on a I've done that. Ouch. Yeah, yeah. I've, I've done that before. So, uh, and our final panelist this morning coming to us. <laughs> the 14 she foot jug. Can't hear the music. Popcorn hell, we bathed in it. How yeah. dare you? We <laughs> love the Walmart. So we get everything at the Walmart. We like to get the toilet paper at the Walmart. So you got to think. We get cases of it. you got to think for sure, Jesse, that the Pop Weaver is going to outperform the or over Wooden Marker, right? Quite frankly, I think that. The brands they have, you know, grocery store brands, Walmart brands, they're just as good as the other of stuff. Of course you do. That's the K-Tug <laughs> okay. way. Yeah. No, I'm just saying. Everybody's a winner. I'm just saying it's just cheaper. Come on, Walmart's better, damn it. <laughs> All right, here we go. Uh, I agree with you, Jesse. Okay. Let's go to the phones and meet uh, our, our contestants here. First up, hi, who's this? Wade. Wade, which popcorn do you think is going to taste better this morning? Oh, Wade's going with the weave. He's going to say there's no difference <laughs> in the popcorns, and the pop weaver might even taste a little bit better than Oval Redenbacher. By the way, people responding at KZLZ.com to a tune of 80% this morning think that Orville Redenbacher will win this morning. Yeah, I would agree with that. Let's go to the next color. Hi, who's this? Josh, where are you calling from? Josh, you, you, uh, this isn't a bad thing, I don't think, but you got stuck with the Orville Redenbacher popcorn. If the Orville Redenbacher popcorn 
win. <laughs> it's funny just listening like, to Jeremy say horrible that. Horrible Redenbacher. This whole go. thing is worth it. Yeah. <laughs> 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 you three times done. All right, you're going to be a winner. You're going to get tickets to Comedy Night at the Ranch, okay? All right, should we do this in like square dance fashion for you, Jesse? Take your popcorn, pass it around. <laughs> Go see no. Okay, now we're limited on the amount of popcorn here, oh, so uh, just only take a couple couple bites. Uh, this first one is, I'm eating is right, just, just, just for pass Jesse. It, hey, pass Jesse. It, pass the popcorn around. Hey, Jesse, get yourself some of that corn there, Jesse. I like corn. Get your fingers in there. I hope you washed them after feeding the cattle this morning. The first one you're eating is A. The second one you're eating is B this morning. All right, we don't know which is A or which is B. Suzanne's got her mouth all over it. Boy, this A sure looks nice. Mm. It's nice and golden. You guys are so cruel. <laughs> it tastes stale. Mmm, that's very good. Mm. I do like that. Mm. Hold on, I didn't get enough. Uh -huh. Oh, you Where's like the popcorn? Bait? Where's the bait? There okay, it everybody has a post-it and a pen in front of them. Please write down on your post-it which uh, popcorn you like better. Give me more bait. Oh, God, I hate... This is how Jeremy regularly eats, too, by the way. Talking and eating and spitting, up. spitting stuff all over the place. <laughs> you know what, Suzanne? After watching Jeremy eat popcorn, I might not like popcorn anymore. <laughs> we should have never shared a mic with Jeremy. All right, here we go. You guys ready to go? Yeah, everybody got to stick it on their head. All right, here we go. Cat, when I say three, one, two, three. Bam! I see A, B, A, B, B. B's the winner. Three B's. All right. Our officiant, Carrie, what was in the B? The generic. Pop Weaver! Pop Weaver wins! <laughs> Pop Weaver wins! Look at that. And, and, and this is coming from Mark, who doesn't like his... Uh, a kernel and hey, a, and it had a, a great a finish. What can I tell you? <laughs> <laughs> That's what I thought too. I thought right. I, I thought the beef finish the end, uh, was there. So way off. Okay. Bit. The A had so much more flavor. That's no, what, it has fake nasty flavor. That's what I thought. That's what it's, yeah. it's good about. And it. It's, it's like buttery and, and tasty. And buttery and I take back everything I said about you. There's some butter on that pop weaver. Okay, hold on, everybody. Not nearly enough butter. Not everybody drunk at once. <laughs> so now I'm going to have popcorn in my teeth all day. This is why I don't like popcorn. I cannot believe you guys went with the B over the A. I was with Mark on this one. Just look at the color of the A. Look at it this. It looks gross. Oh, yeah, it looks fake that. and, like, disgusting. Buttery. That is some good popcorn can right I, there. Can I tell you that A looks like it was popped out of Diablo Cane? <laughs> <laughs> exactly. That's what I want my popcorn. All right. Hey, congratulations, buddy. You're going to go to Comedy Night. And uh, we got a DVD of uh, Stone Cold Steve Austin for you, too, okay? All right, hold on the line. We're all uh, get you all set to go. All right, thanks guys for coming in. Yeah, there right. it is. Sorry for eating, making you eat popcorn this morning, Suzanne. But Terrible. At least you picked the right one. To go wash it out with. It doesn't like make a difference. Toxic coffee that you guys make. <laughs> we'll be right back. <laughs>